After your surgery, called post-op, you'll be moved to the ICU, the intensive care unit. While you're being moved there, the surgeon will update your family. About an hour or so after you are settled into the ICU, your family can visit. You can be comforted knowing your nursing team will be by your side, helping along the way. Don't be alarmed when you wake up to see a lot more equipment in your room. Each of those machines has an important job, and it's normal to have them there. You'll spend about four days in the hospital after your surgery. After a day in the ICU, you'll be moved to a regular floor. Over the four days, you'll get up and walk, tubes and equipment will be removed, you'll learn how to manage your pain and blood sugar, medications will be adjusted, and you'll use an incentive spirometer. The spirometer helps you get your lungs working the best they can to prevent pneumonia and other lung problems. You'll also need to learn about sternal precautions. These are restrictions that you will have to follow for six weeks. Trust me, you'll get better quicker by following them. If you don't, you could strain your muscles and pull on your breastbone incision. This will hurt and slow the healing process. Here are the instructions. Do not push, pull, or lift more than 10 pounds which is like a gallon of milk. For example, don't push off the chair with your hands when you stand up. No walking your dog, pushing a lawnmower, or vacuuming. Avoid activities that cause you to bear down. Hug a cushion or pillow when coughing or sneezing. Learn the log roll technique to get in and out of bed. Stop any activities that cause pain or discomfort in your incision.